Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Hope everyone had a great week. Mine was pretty busy first week back. You know the drill. Anyway, fishy folks, before we get started in this massively epic video, do me a favor and go ahead and obliterate that subscription button if you haven't done so already. Gently boop the notification bell. And then check out michaelsfishroom.com where you can buy pretty cool guppies and plecos bred by yours truly. In today's video, fishy folks, we are going to talk about stuff I bought in Japan for the fish room. That's right, folks, I bought a couple things and I wanna show them to you. First things first is I bought this Betta tank. It's pretty small. It's uh, 1.3 liters. And I did open it because I had to use it. It's a long story, but um, essentially it's just a glass box with a black background. As you can see, um, what I find funny or interesting is it's a glass box, right? That's all it is. Look at the instructions that it comes with, right? All these instructions, of course, are all Japanese. And these instructions also all in Japanese, so I can't read them that well. Um, yeah, like five pages of instructions for a glass box. It also came with this uh, Betta safe, which I'm assuming is water conditioner, but I don't really know. Um, the instructions tell you not to do things like don't wash the glass box with soap and um, use a lid and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I mean, it is what it is, right? Anyway, um, the reason I bought it, not for a Betta, but as you know, I do have a website, michaelsfishroom.com, and I need to photograph my guppies for said website, and I've been looking for something just like this. Now, I saw Simply Betta um, did a video on making her own, like specifically to film her Bettas or take pictures of her Bettas. That's too much work. If I remember correctly, this thing was like, I don't know, $11 or something, and my concern was actually packing it in my suitcase and bringing it home, but it made it. All right, what else did I buy? Um, if you watch the videos I did from fish stores in Japan, um, I did two. They both were repeats of stores I've done in the past, but they were really great stores, and I'm a little better at YouTube, so I thought I could show you some more stuff. The second shop, um, which was in Ginza, part of Tokyo, I focused primarily on their dry goods because they have a whole floor of just dry goods. The first floor, plants and livestock second floor tanks and aquascaping and filters and chemicals and food and i bought my boy scott some some food from japan and uh, i found some cool things and stuff and i did buy um a filter i think i bought this filter in that store now this is uh just like the other japanese box filters um except it's like a pancake let me show you Handy dandy knife. It's the same brand, Suisuku. I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, it's the same brand as the other Japanese box filters I got, but it's like a pancake. Look how small it is. It's pretty cool, right? And uh, it doesn't have any charcoal, but uh, you know, it's got the air line here and air goes in. It's got the rocks, which will hold beneficial bacteria. And then the mechanical filtration is here. And there's like an air stone in the middle for bubbles. Let me try to open it without breaking it and spilling everything and show you how cool it is. Now, I don't really need it. I have sponge filters and tanks. I have extra sponge filters, but it's pretty cool. So, plus content for YouTube. So it's got this filter, biological, no, mechanical filter. And it's got these rocks, which act as biological filtration. And also weigh it down. And there's your little air stone. I'm pretty sure you can buy replaceable cartridges like this and a replaceable airstone. Um, I may buy another one of these and not, usually I just put uh, batting. I just put polyfill. I'll put a link to this down below for uh, Amazon. As you know, it will be an affiliate link and you click on it and I make like 4,600% of a penny. Um, anyway, so that's this filter. I like the shape. I wanted a bigger one, I would put it in probably Chewy's tank. I do have a uh, Japanese filter in Chewy's tank, as well as a ginormous sponge filter. Oh, instructions. 
Yeah, basically it says how to take it apart and how to put it together. Japanese style. Actually, there are a lot of instructions on the box. Uh, I gotta call it a China filter. It's made in China. I'm gonna call it a Japanese filter because that's where I bought it. Does that make sense? I know. Some of you guys gotta put on your big boy panties and realize I don't care that you don't like that I call it a China filter or a Japanese filter or a German filter or whatever the hell it is. I don't care. Anyway, that's the new Japanese box filter. We're gonna call it the Japanese pancake filter. <clears throat> it's a medium. Let's see if I can figure out what size tank. Nope. Wait a minute. 30 to 40 centimeters deep. 1500 cc's? I don't know how much water that is. Anyway, then I got the small size. This was 648 yen, so about $6.50. This one doesn't have a price on it. I think it was probably close to $10. This is the same filter, it's just smaller. I probably didn't realize that when I bought it. But uh, look how cute, it's adorable. Yeah, same thing. Nothing really to go over here. Let me see if I can open it. Yeah, it's the same thing. And this is for a smaller tank we'll go with. As you saw, there are a lot of small tanks in Japan. Why can't I put this back in the box? I took it out, right? You saw me take it out. Oh, here's why. Because I'm a dumbass. There was this in there and I didn't see it because it's clear and I'm blind and blah, blah, blah. There, put it back. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use these. I may offer these off if you wanna buy them. All right, here is a little mini filter. This is a different brand. It's actually the same brand as the Beta Tank slash Picture Box. Um, and this one I definitely got at in Shinjuku, at Aqua Forest. <coughs> I'm fine, don't worry. Let's open it up and check it out. It's really small. Let's not cut ourselves, that would be bad. You think, oh, oh, oh. Just gotta be a little bit smarter than the box and it opens. I just got my paper cut. Airline tubing. <gasps> Look at how cute it is, it's so small. It's for like, I don't know, a small tank, like a shrimp tank or a betta tank or whatever. All right, so this has different pieces. So there's your weight and biological filter. This, I think, has carbon in it. And this also is mechanical, I'm guessing. So you put that there, you put the carbon there. Now, if I would've known it had carbon, if I would've looked, I probably could've determined that it did have carbon. I probably would've bought another mechanical because carbon if you use carbon in filters, you have to actually change it because it does absorb chemicals and, for lack of a better term, bad stuff. And if you don't change it, eventually it won't be able to absorb anymore and it'll start releasing bad stuff. And then you fish die and that's crappy. So, um, I don't use carbon in any of my tanks. As a matter of fact, I haven't used carbon in years. The one time I did use carbon, I had uh, some tannins in the water and I didn't want them in the water because I didn't know any better. You put carbon in and it takes the tannins out pretty quickly, maybe a day or so. But anyway, so here's this filter and I could probably take this off, but I don't want to because then I'd probably spill the rocks. So let's put this back on like that. And let's take a look at this fancy airline and see if we can't figure out how it goes. We're gonna... We're gonna open it up and check her out. Hope this is exciting for you as it is for me. Pretty skinny airline, but I think, huh, I wonder if this will work. No, this probably won't. Stand by. So here's standard airline and it,
Actually, it does go inside. That that may or may not seal. I don't know. This is kind of weird. I don't know what how this is going to work. be good if I could read the directions, but you know I don't read directions, plus they're in Japanese, and I'd have to bring it to work and be like, hey, Pete, how do you read this? And you guys are going to be saying, what do you mean Pete? How does Pete know Japanese? Well, Pete is the American name of my friend and co-worker, Hiyama-san who I call Pete. Well, that goes on there, and then I guess there's a another air pump that... But, let's take that off without breaking it and see if standard airline goes on there. It does! Again, I, I probably won't use this one either. I don't really have a place for a small tiny filter like this. So, if you have a nano tank and you want this filter, shoot me an email and uh, we'll figure something out. I'm going to put it back in the box. Um, I think for the big filter, maybe I'll do, when I hit 20k, we'll do a giveaway. I have some other things to give away. I have the, uh, the air pumps that Cobalt sent me that I will probably do a giveaway on, as I said in that video. This was 474. 474 yen, so close to five bucks for 60 or something like that, if I did the math right. We'll put the knife away so we don't cut ourselves, people. That does it for the new Japanese filters and better tank. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of these filters. And uh, if you buy them, if I could import them, would you buy them? And what would you pay? What would you pay for this medium one? And what would you pay for this small one? Folks, as you know, I'm wearing the Super Cichlid shirt. They are going to have a soft opening July 1st. That means they're basically going to open the doors and they're still working on the store. Uh, if you stop down, it's in Dover, Delaware. Buy a lot of stuff. They're awesome people. They have great, they carry great products. And uh, fish, they carry great fish too. So that's it, folks. Hope you liked it. Leave me a comment down below as to uh, what you think about these filters and how much you pay for them. See ya.